Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome back to my let's play of Nino Kuni. Uh, before we get too into the game, I just want to warn you that I am currently recovering uh, from having the flu. Um, I've been ill for the last week or so and haven't recorded anything. And it got to the point where I was literally running out of videos and I was scared that I was going to have no videos to upload. So I've braved the microphone and I'm going to try and record. And um, I might be a bit sniffly and a bit coffy, but I think I'm over the worst of it. And um, I might not sound great and I might not sound as enthusiastic as I normally do, but that's more uh, because I'm trying to save my voice and not go into a coughing fit. And if I do stop coughing or sneezing or anything, um, then I will edit that out. So basically, if I go quiet uh, for a little while, uh, that means I'm probably coughing to death and uh, I can't speak, so I had to edit it out. And I've done everything I should have. I've rested, I've drank lots of water, I've had every type of medication, I've had stuff that you've got to suck and I've had stuff that you've got to swallow with water and stuff you've got to sniff up your nose and stuff you've got to stick in your ear and things you've got to put between your toes and cream you've got to rub on your armpits and <laughs> everything. I've put vinegar in my eye and I've s s like slept the night with ostrich egg under my pillow and I've done all of these crazy things to try and get better uh, but it hasn't worked and I'm still not feeling 100%. Well no, like mentally I'm fine. I haven't got a headache or anything. Like I feel fine. I just like... I just cough a lot and sneeze a lot, so I haven't been able to record. Uh, but I'm looking forward to getting back into Nino Kuni. It's uh, been about a week since I last played it, so it's kind of exciting getting back into the story. And oh no, I've got to do their voices, don't I? I forgot about this. Right, okay, so let's hope my voice can handle doing drippy. Look at that, it's a waystone. They're useful. Uh, a waystone? Yeah, man. They're ancient stones, you see. You can use them to store and record your adventure so far. So they're basically save points. They're wild places like the forest and so on. You can't just plonk yourself to the nearest rock and write your story down. But why not? Why not? Why not, he says. Give me strength, man. Because you're crawling with horrible beasties, innit? They are? They sound kind of scary. You'll get used to it, man. Just remember, you can't go recording your process any old where. Allow me to explain a little more. Touch a waystone and your health and magic power will be fully restored. Not bad, eh? And that's not all, man. Uh, these little beauties will also allow you to save your progress. A traveller's best friend, they are. Which is why you should stop at every waystone you see and make good use of it. Better safe than sorry, eh, innit? Uh, sure, Mr. Drippy. Tidy! Then let it, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Let's hope you're as good as your world. What was that? Righto, next up, the old man of the woods. Yeah, so just as a, a quick recap uh, of the story after my failure to read that. Um, we're trying to... <laughs> excuse me. We're trying to get into a place called Ding Dong Dell. Uh, but one of the guards um, is heartless or he had his heart... No, he's heartbroken or something. And um, we need to go to an old man in this woods. Uh, to try and get what we need to sort of repair his heart, basically. And uh, I thought you could save anywhere. I'm pretty sure that... Oh, I guess when you're in, like, a like a dungeon area, you can't save anywhere. Okay, so my HP and MP are fully restored. And, yeah, I, I might as well save as well. So, yeah, these, these points are going to be pretty, uh, pretty useful. And sorry for recording while I'm ill. Um, <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try for the rest of this video to sort of relax my voice a little bit. I might not do silly voices for the um, uh, for when I'm reading dialogue anymore because <laughs> I'm not sure how well my voice can handle it. And it was like, it was either this or not upload any videos and I, I don't know, I, I think that I couldn't bear the messages I'd get sent if like for one week I didn't upload any videos. <laughs> I, I just feel so bad. <laughs> I just feel so bad that like oh, I didn't Mr. upload Ruby. anything. <laughs> Wait for me! Whoopsie doodles. Who goes there? Is that the tree talking to me? I think it is. Jeepers. Oh my god. Ollie boy, meet old father oak. How do you a leafiness? Looks like oh, a duck. Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is is, I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. 
You only ever come to see me when you are in need. Sorry, you a tall ship. You know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it. Did you, you bark ship? Well, well. The pure hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to. That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. Why does that tree have a beak? Very well. You shall have my aid. But first, we had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Yay, I want a squirtle. Oh, 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 yeah. Clean forgot I did. He's right, dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Yeah. Familiars? Yep, yeah, familiars. You're in our world, you can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only gonna get bigger and meaner. So, you're gonna need a helping hand, or claw, or beak, or tentacle. Or shotgun. Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. But Mr. Drippy, there's no spell named Form Familiar here. You what? The boy is correct. Look at his wizard's companion. It would seem that it's missing a few more of its pages. Really? Knickers! So does that mean I can't cast the spell? Ho 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 ho. I'm not as powerless as that young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. Form familiar. Ah, yes. A gift from me to you, young Oliver. Where'd that come from? <laughs> what branch was that hiding on? <laughs> Thank you, big duck tree. Yay, so now I can summon familiars, which are basically the Pokemon of this game. <laughs> let's, let's not beat around the bush with this, shall we? <laughs> Thank you very much, old father Oak. But simply possessing the page for a particular spell is no guarantee that you'll be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards. Such is life. Don't worry about that now, man. Just give the form familiar a go, will ya? Uh, sure thing, Mr. Drippy. Right, form familiar. Summons for for familiar from the caster's heart to fight beside them. I wonder what familiar I'm gonna get. Yay, we get we get a pretty cutscene. That's tidy work, Ollie boy. Look at that, a warrior from your very own heart, a familiar. This is a familiar. That's right, the fighting spirit inside you made flesh, a soldier of your soul. Really help me fight? <laughs> 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 <sighs> Looks like I have a very derpy heart. <laughs> Ouch! Ow. That was a mean trick. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow. Oh. Not supposed to hit me. And there, there's my first familiar. What a powerful beast I've summoned. So this is a familiar, huh? And he'll be coming with us? Indeed he will, Ollie boy. And the more the merrier, ain't it? Here, you'd better give this little fellow a name, eh? Oh, God, I've got to give it a name. Um, should, should I leave it as its original name? or should I? No, I think, I think I'll re rename them all. Um, I think I'm going to call this first familiar... Um, I don't know. Like, I, I want to have a look at it. Um, it's, it's, it's a soldier, isn't it? It needs a, a, a powerful soldier name. Uh... Like Brute? Bruce. I'm going to call it Bruce. Like, because it's kind of like Brute. That's quite a brutish name, Bruce. Um, or Brutey. Or Fruity. I'll call it Fruity. There we go. How did I get How did I get to Fruity? You see the weird way my my brain works to get to calling it Fruity. I wanted a, a powerful name, so I call it Fruity. Uh, um, I hate typing when it's like written in alphabetical order. There we go. Fruity. Fruity the familiar. Familiar Fruity. Are you sure you want to call your The Might Fruity? Um, 
No, but yes. <laughs> Oliver, we cannot let you set up into the wild with only that withered wand in your hand. I'll give you a new wand. Let me give you some spells to aid you in battle. The first is the restorative incarnation known as healing touch. I wonder what that does. Does it cast fire? I'm pretty sure it, it, it's a healing spell. You received a page describing uh, the healing touch spell. Jolly good. Tidy! That's the most useful spell there is in the Wandering Adventurer. Cuts bruises, cuts bruises, strains, gashes, all gone in a jiffy with healing touch. Alright, sounds like he's bloody selling it. Gee, you make it sound like I'm going to get hurt an, an awful lot, Mr. Drippy. Next, I give you the gift of the Blazing Infernal. Inferno. Fireball. <laughs> give me a break with my bad reading, I'm ill. Shows little fireballs of fire, does it? Plant-based beasties flipping hate fire, man. Even old Treeface over here is scared of fireball. Drippy, how dare you? You would never aim such a spell at me, would you, boy? Golly, of course not, old Father Oak. You received a page describe the fi describing fireball spell. <laughs> now, boy, you can press square at any time to open your spells menu. While a spell like Healing Touch can be used at any time, Fireball is meant primarily for use in battle. Oh, so I guess I can't fire one at the tree. That was going to be a laugh. <laughs> that said, the most unexpected of spells can prove incomparably useful given the right set of circumstances. Novel problems call for novel solutions after all. If you find yourself at something of a loss, I recommend that you go through your re magical repertoire. You never know which spell might save the day. I guess there's going to be some uh, puzzles that require me to use my magic. What's that? Why has uh -oh. everything got a huh? beak in this forest? Spoiler for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Solly boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a log, man. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. <laughs> Go on, Fruity. Look at him, he's a beast. Teeny Bopper A and Teeny Bopper B. <laughs> right. Righto, Wally Boy, it's time to learn about fighting with familiars. First off, you've got to pick who's going to go out and fight out of you and your little friends. We've got to go to the trouble of making him. Uh, we've gone to the trouble of making him, so we'd best give him a go, eh? Select him, will you? So, okay, so I've got the choice of me or him fighting then. So I guess I only control one at a time, which makes sense, otherwise it might be quite confusing. Tidy! Now let's send him out into the fray, shall we? Oh yeah, see the circle in the top left there? That's your familiar's stamina gauge. What it does is it shows you how much longer he can fight for, see? The longer you keep him on the go, the shorter his stamina gauge will get. And when it's empty, it means the poor lad so tired he can't fight anymore. Tragic, eh? So before that happens, you have to call him back for a bit of rest like. Oh, and there's something else about familiars you should know. See this little mark by ear? That's his sign. Okay, so I guess they've all got their sign. Is that like their element type? It's sort of like a star sign, except there's only four of them. Sun, moon, star, and planet. And like star signs, different ones go on better. You can use that to help you in battle. Next, let's talk about tricks. They're proper powerful abilities, a bit like your spells. And just like spells, they cost MP to use. So you can see the cost written next to them. Okay. But what you got to remember is that you and your familiars share MP and health. So if a familiar uses a trick or he takes a big hit, it's your MP and HP that will suffer. Oh, that's rubbish. I want to sort of send them out as like a human like meat shield and then <laughs> I can stay safe at the back. Well, a familiar meat shield, not human meat shield. Crikey, this is a long old lesson, eh? Yeah, it is. You're straining my voice. Right, let's finish off with a top tip, shall we? Your familiar's stamina is always going down, so you'll need to swap him regularly. So you can do that any time by pressing L1, ain't it? Now I'm going to stop talking before I put you both to sleep. <laughs> it's your turn to sing your supper. 
What? It's your turn to sing for your supper? Go on, boy, back. All right, whatever. Let, let's just fight. Let, let, let's fight. Ooh, cut loose. That was pretty powerful. That would do it. Um, right, attack. Look at Fruity go. Look at him. Go on. <laughs> Nicely done. Right, let me kill this one. And then I'm going to I'm gonna go and try and switch to me. What's going on? Why is everything frozen? That's nice. If I press L1, yeah, I, I can choose to switch to someone else. <laughs> Look in the background over there. You can see Drippy, like, cheering us on. <laughs> Why doesn't he ever join in, in the fighting? No. Oh, I was just about to try using a, uh, like, a fireball spell or something. Hopefully the, uh, the combat's going to be a little bit more exciting now because, like... I can use a bit a bit more tactical options, you know. I'm not just spamming the X button to attack, you know. <laughs> now I can use some spells and I got fruity I can send into the fray. <laughs> so now you know how to fight with a familiar, ain't it, Ollie Boy? <laughs> so to be a true contender, you'll need to learn when to get your familiar loose and when to control yourself. I'll do my best, Mr. Drippy. Nope. <laughs> and there he goes back into my heart. <laughs> Oh, and when he's not fighting, the little fellow can be found taking it easy in the creature cage, a.k.a. the Pokeball. <laughs> in the creature cage, you can shower your faithful familiars with delicious treats. Ooh, can I have some treats as well? <laughs> there's all kinds of treats you can choose from. Some will improve their abilities, and there's others that can teach them new tricks. Tiny! Feed the little blighters enough of what they fancy, and the bonds of familiarity between you will grow meaning that you can boost their abilities even more. I love the way that the voice I'm using for Drippy just changes every time I say a sentence. Careful not to... <laughs> Careful... <laughs> oh, sorry, I laughed and it made me cough. I was doing so well not coughing. <laughs> Careful not to stuff them too full of sweeties, though. They only end up getting full up. Admiration in moderation. That's the key. It's probably a lot to get your head around, but just remember that the creature's cage is where you look after your familiars, and you take it from there, ain't it? The creature cage? Got it. I promise to look after him real well, Mr. Drippy. The creature cage is now accessible from the main menu. Fan dabby dozy. Oh, I almost forgot. We had something we wanted to ask you. Your trunkiness. There is a guard down at Ding Dong Dell, and he's broken hearted, see? Hmm, broken hearted, you say? Shadar's evil spread still further. So you will be needing? That we will. Your Okitude. That's quick, you are. You still got it, ain't you? Ha, ha, ha. Patience, young Drippy. Of course I have. Right, now, let me see. Hmm, now, I, I I know I've got it hit somewhere. Crikey, you've gone and lost it, ain't you? Hmm, lost it? The insolence. I put it away safely along my uppermost branches. It's just a little tangled up there, that's all. Ah, while I seek it out, I have a favour to ask you. What? Did I mention that we're in a fluffy at Flippinari, didn't I? We haven't got time to go... Mr. Drippy, we should help Old Father Oak. He gave us those spells, didn't he? Ah, how very refreshing to meet a responsible and honest young man. All right, all right. I get the flipping message. All right, go on, what do you need us for? Well, it's the guardian of these woods, you see. The guardian, eh? What's up with the old fellow? I am afraid he's become rather unruly of late, and he is neglecting his duties. Well, 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 that's no good, is it? We better help you sort him out then, eh? The, the Guardian? He sounds kinda tough. Too right he is! He's way stronger than your average beastie, but you've got a familiar on your side now, man. You'll be fine. And besides, if you're gonna take down Shadar, you can't back out of a little tough Guardian bashing now, can you? Um, okay, I I'll do it. How very kind of you. The Guardian can be found in the deepest past of the woods, beyond the whispering waterfalls. I wish you luck. It looks like we've got ourselves an adventure. <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately, though, um, I need to rest my voice for a bit and I'm going to end the video here. 
Uh, but there'll be a link in the description to the next part of this series, of course, once I've uploaded it. Uh, thank you for putting up with me in my ick manner, and hopefully you did still find this uh, video enjoyable, and things should get exciting now, uh, because we can do a lot more. I got my first familiar, and I can do spells, and hopefully the game uh, will be a bit more exciting as I go and try and take out the Guardian. But as I did say, this is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!